really exciting. I was walking along and I noticed all these berries uh, on the ground in the little bushes and I ran into a hike and I'm like, are those blueberries? I said yes, so Blueberry Lake has blueberries. This is my first ever wild blueberry. Hmm, actually not that exciting. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> All right, um, that first berry I ate was not a blueberry. <laughs> I decided to try again with, uh, got some more of these, and they're actually really tasty. Um, so I don't know what I ate the first time, but it wasn't a blueberry. It wasn't very good, so hopefully it wasn't poisonous and I will be okay. <laughs> so I am about a third of the way through my hike, and I've already picked up tarp and a rope and the hiker guy I ran into said there's four people ahead of me so I'm guessing this is their shelter <laughs> so I'll hike it up the mountain to them don't really have space but I will make space this is some heavy duty tarp and rope it's kind of hilarious Enjoying hot apple cider and roasted garlic mashed potatoes with Havarti and pepperoni sticks. This is a very nice spot. I have a bench and a fire pit, but I'm not having a fire, so that's kind of lame. But there you go. Nice evening. Hello, glaciers. is Blueberry Lake and this is my campsite for night number one. So I thought I should uh, document this. Um, my swim streak comes to an end today. I was going to swim in Blueberry Lake but uh, my feet frostbite maybe I don't know but my feet are uh, not happy with the cold so I've decided it's probably not a good idea to exacerbate that with a polar dip in a glacier lake so yeah I am ending the swim streak today but I'm hoping that I am warmer tomorrow that the sun comes out and that the swim streak will continue in bits and pieces as much as possible as long as I can do it without Anyways, I'm just going to cuddle up in my tent here and read a book.